this yes. whole thing. Yeah, this whole white thing, all of this that you see here is the Bowman's capsule or glomerular capsule. Okay. The capillaries themselves are make up the glomerulus. Okay. So then you have the Bowman's capsule or the glomerular capsule. The space between these is called the capillary space. Capsular space. space. Capsular space. Not capillary, that's a little blood vessel. Capsular capsule. space. So it's yep. the capsular space? Yeah, and we'll, we'll get that down with the slides also. It is on your sheet. So where do kidney stones actually start? Good question. What do you guys think? What? Where do kid kidney stones I start? Them all the time. Ouch. Mm -hmm. They're formed in the kidney, well, in, the, in this whole area that's making the urine. Good. Any other questions? Okay. We didn't do the descending and ascending? Or nope. We're not done yet. Yeah, so we've got the nephron model, right? What's this part? Bowman's capsule. The, the white part would be the Bowman's capsule. Uh -huh. This wiggly part? Would be the proximal, proximal convoluted tubule. Excellent. Okay. Now this goes down. This whole loop is either called the nephron loop On or the loop, of the loop of Henle. Which limb is this coming down? Descending. Descending limb. Ascending, ascending limb, and then we have distal convoluted tubule, and it all comes together into the collecting duct. Collecting duct. And keep in mind that this descending one is coming down from that proximal convoluted tubule. So over here, let's do the parts on this side. What's this white part? The Bowman's capsule or or the glomerular capsule. capsule. This would be the ascending distal convoluted distal proximal, 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 proximal what convoluted tubule. Because it's closer to the, the Bowman's capsule. Okay, so proximal and distal always have to do with which which one's closer to that got Bowman's it. capsule. Okay. Now I got so it. So if you go from proximal convoluted tubule, what's going to be going first? Descending, descending, descending limb and then over here is distal convoluted tubule empties the urine into the collecting duct. All right. Wow. Now, are you guys good so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. Officially, the glomerulus, that little tuft of capillaries, and the collecting duct are not part of a nephron. A lot of books will. I guess for convenience, consider that part of it. So it kind of depends on your source, if the glomerulus itself is considered part of the nephron or not. But the collecting duct is separate from the nephron. Okay, lots of nephrons will empty into that collecting duct. A bunch of those collecting ducts will open up into the head of each papilla, like a shower head, be collected by a minor or major calyx, all collected in that renal pelvis out the ureter to the urinary bladder. All right, you want to review everything one more time. Okay, so what are these? Kidneys. 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 Ureters. 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 Bladder. Ureters. Bladder. Ureters. Bladder. Urinary bladder. Urinary bladder. Urethra. 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 And also make sure you look at on those. So this whole thing is a Kid kidney. 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 That's this outer layer. Renal capsule. Renal capsule. Renal capsule. Fibrous capsule, capsule or renal capsule. Very good. This part. Renal, co renal cortex. Renal cortex. This renal part. Renal, 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 renal medulla. Specifically. Renal pyramid. Renal pyramid. Renal pyramids. Renal columns. Renal columns. The little ends of the, the pap pyramids. Papilla. Papilla is, sim uh, is singular. Papillae is plural. Papilla. 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 Yep. What are these little ones that come from just one? Minor calyx. Minor, Minor calyx. calyx. Minor calyx. Yeah. And from more than one? Major calyx. Major calyx. The renal pelvis. Renal pelvis, pelvis. 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 through this space called the hilus. Hilus. Hi. Hi. Yeah, that's all right. Hilus. Hilus. And then out through the ureter. Ureter. To the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder and out to the toilet through the urethra. Who has a longer urethra, males or females? Males. Males. Okay. Now, microscopic view of what's going on in here. What's this whole thing? A nephron. A nephron. Uh, if we look specifically, what are these capillaries called? I don't know. Glomerulus. Very good. What's this? 
Bowman's Castle, Castle or Glamerius Castle. Very good. Glamerous. Bowman's Castle or Glamerular Castle. <coughs> What's the space between Excuse them? Excuse me, what is it? Glamerious space? Capsular space. Capsular space. Capsular space. Oh, okay. Not the, the capillaries are the glomerulus. You know what I have? Yeah, I got it. Can I ask you a question? Yes. What is the pedestals? The P E D I, what is that? Oh, pedestals, those are the. See how this is surrounded by something? Yeah. It has little uh, cells that have like little cells. plates and, and stuff. Those are the cells. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it, it, they, they cover the glomerulus and play a role in the filtration. Mm -hmm. Because the filtrate has to force through there. Okay. okay. So, what's the fluid inside here, inside the glomerulus still called? Blood. 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 Once it comes out of the glomerulus and into this capsular space, what's it called? Oh, filtrate. 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 Okay, so from this Bowman's capsule, it's going to travel through this. What must this be? That's a, uh, that's a descending. Proximal convoluted. Proximal convoluted. Proximal convoluted. Proximal convoluted. Proximal convoluted. Yeah. So it's going to go through there, still called filtrate. Then it's going to go through the descending. loop of Henle, specifically the descending, descending. thing. Descending limb of the loop of Henle or of the nephron loop, then through the ascending, ascending limb of the loop of Henle or the nephron loop, wow. then through the distal convoluted tubule, and that's the end of the nephron. Now, once it leaves this distal convoluted tubule and enters, what's this? Collecting, collecting duct. duct. As soon as it enters the collecting duct, what's it called? Urine. 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 Okay. Collecting duct. Collects stuff from all sorts of nephrons, empties out through the papillaries. Papillae, papillae, yep. Collect gets collected by the minor. The minor, 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 minor clicks or a major, major, major clicks, then it goes to the renal, renal, renal pelvis, then out through the ureter. Sounds good to me. <laughs> this whole organ is the kidney. The outer surface of the kidney is the renal capsule, also called the fibrous capsule. The outer three quarters inch or so is the renal cortex. The next area in is the renal medulla, which consists of renal pyramids <coughs> separated by renal columns. The end of each pyramid is shaped like a nipple, so it's a papilla. The collecting areas, a minor calyx collects from one pyramid, major calyx collects from two or more pyramids. Where all the calyxes come together is called the renal pelvis. All the space in the center of the medulla is called the renal sinus. The area where things enter and leave the kidney is called the hilum, the space and this represents the ureter, which goes down to the urinary bladder. Normal kidney entire and the human kidney slides. On those slides, you're gonna look for the cortex, which is the outer part. You're gonna look for the medulla, <coughs> the pyramids in it. The glomerulus, the capsular space, and the glomerular capsule. Those are gonna be very small. Okay, what you're going to see basically, the glomerulus are going to look like little dots, like they're shown on this model. The capsular space is going to be a, a little white ring around that dot. And then around that, the glomerular capsule will be a purple ring around that. So a dot, a white ring, a purple ring. Yep. Okay. The ureter human slide, you'll be able to see the ureter and the tissue there. Um, the ureter works through with peristalsis to get urine from the kidneys down to the bladder, so of course you'll have some smooth muscle in there. Then we'll see the mammal urinary bladder distended. For that, you're going to be able to identify the urinary bladder. And what did the stomach have that allowed it to expand? Elastic. Mm -hmm. The rugae. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it has other things too, but the rugae. Guess what's in the kid in the urinary bladder also? Rugae. Rugae. Okay, so look for those two. So for that urinary bla uh, mammal urinary bladder distended slide, you're going to be able to make sure you can identify it as a urinary bladder and be able to identify the rugae. The stomach had what? 
pits. 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 Yeah, where were the villi? In the, in the, 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 the intestines. In the intestines, small intestines. Okay. Good. Okay, and then the last slide is the urethra, mammal, female. And the urethra, to help you differentiate it from the ureter, note that it will have more muscular tissue than the ureter does. The urethra? 